Well, hello, and welcome to day, effectively, I guess, day two of construction on our small garage, our double garage here. Uh, you can see now we have our forms built. And as we're building, we try and drop the rebar into our forms so that it makes it easier for me today to hang the rebar. So today what I'm going to be doing is getting all the rest of this rebar into the top of the curb here um, and basically hanging everything up and having them ready for inspection. Inspection on these forms will be tomorrow. Just got off the phone with our concrete guy and he's going to be here to have a look either today or tomorrow so we can effectively measure how much concrete is going to go into these forms. We have a pretty good idea already but we always like to have a look first. If we can save any money we will do that, not order over order. Um, and then uh, we are going to pour those forms after inspection probably in a day or two. So we'll show you when they're all hung up and supported with rebar. Okay, well, end of the day today here, we've uh, spent some time hanging up this rebar to reinforce the footings and the curbs. So you can see we've got our opening for our garage door here. We've got rebar in the footing. Uh, what we've done with this particular house is we've used a 24 inch wide footing and then an 8 inch wide curb that's built out of 2x12. That 2x12 we will recycle and reuse for all of our headers for our garage door and our windows and our doors so we can actually get two uses out of it, not just throw it away. Uh, with this rebar, you can see the base all the way down. And what they check for when they look at rebar is they look to see that we can't push it out of the way. It doesn't kind of bow down. So we always kind of try and give it a kick and have some cross braces across so that everything stays solid. So, rebar is in. You can also see this poly that I've got down. It's a trick that I've learned over the years that if we have footings that are sitting high above the sand in order to eliminate waste. So, concrete is expensive, so we don't want to just pour concrete where we don't need to. So, we actually wrap this poly in. Just kind of wrap it underneath like this. And it just kind of catches the concrete really nicely. And it's a really simple thing to do, but it's... Uh, you know, uh, this is a small footing, but over a, a big house it saves a lot of concrete just sloughing off and it keeps our sites nice and clean, easier to dig, easier for perimeter drains, all that kind of good stuff. So, rebar is in, we're ready for inspection, that'll come tomorrow, and then we will pour it after that. Oh, one more thing that I'll show you, you can see that I have our guys put in this one 2 by 4 here, so it creates this notch in the footing. And that notch is actually made for specifically for a garage footing where the track for the garage door has to go right down to the floor. So we now have a space for that track to run right to the floor. We don't have to chip out the footing and it just looks cleaner and more finished when we have it done. So there you go, track in, rebar in, poly in place. Uh, site is prepped and we're ready for inspection and ready to pour after that. I'll show you when we've got concrete going in.